today we're going to open an entire case of DC packs from Walmart. Hello Comic Army, my name is Chris the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. Well, today we're going to be opening an entire case of DC packs from Walmart. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how many how many packs are gonna be inside this case, but I do know that there's four comic books per pack. Now these retailer packs I really enjoy opening and uh, my channel's kind of known for that. So I'm gonna drop a link right above there to a playlist of all the the retailer packs I've opened in the past. And let's look like I'm just gonna put that over there. There's a lot. All right, in fact, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Normally, when I open a book, I'll show it and then I'll show a recent eBay sale. At the end of the video, I'll I do all that kind of math to figure out if there's a profit or not a profit versus recent eBay sales. I'm not gonna do that this time. However, if there's a comic book that's worth over $10, that I will show. But I'm not gonna do any math at the end of the video. If there happens to be a $10 book or greater, that's awesome. Now, these books are probably a little bit older, so I'm not expecting them to have big resale value on eBay. Now, let's get into it. Pack number one features Nightwing on the cover here. Like I mentioned, this is Nightwing 87. The great cover to start this entire case opening with. It's a, a very celebrated run. I'm glad to have it. Up next, very nice. It's Batman 118. Can't go wrong with the franchise. It's Josh Williamson. I believe this is Josh Williamson taking over this particular arc from James Tynan IV. Wow. I'm impressed. This is my favorite DC title in the last three years. It's DC vs. Vampires issue number one. Love it. Love it. Last but not least, we have another Batman title. This is issue number one of Fear State Omega. Okay, on to pack number two. So pack number two features Batman The Long Halloween issue number one, but with that very cool Pattinson cover. So this is the special edition of The Long Halloween featuring the theatrical cover for this particular print. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Well done. Up next, we have a square bound. It's Bat, oh, pardon me, it's Robin and Batman. Issue number one. This is a three part limited series. As you can see, it's a square bound. Very nice, very glossy. This is the back cover. Up next, we have another number one. It's Justice League versus the Legion of Superheroes. And uh, on the back is a theatrical ad for the Batman movie. Up next, we have a very glossy Joker, issue number three. All right, on to pack number three. Pack number three will have Superman and Robin. Not to be confused with Robin and Batman. So this is just a one shot. It is Superman and Robin. Remember the day that this was released. Yeah, it builds itself as a special. Okay, up next, again, very glossy. It's the Joker, issue number nine. 
we have our first double. Joker, number three. Let's set that over here to show the doubles that have shown up here. And uh, last but not least out of this issue is Suicide Squad from Future State. Very nice. I loved this. I thought it was very, very well done. Okay, pack number four. So pack number four features a number one of a limited series, Nubia and the Amazons. Well, like I mentioned, this is a six part limited series, issue number one, Nubia and the Amazons. A very well done cover. I like the, the hair and the fur in the background. Very, very well done. Up next, we have a variant. This is for Batgirl 48. It is that limited trade dress. Gorgeous cover. Gorgeous cover. Okay, so we have another square bound, but this time it belongs to DC's Black Label. This is book two of Batman, The Three Jokers. Like it. I like this cover a lot. Fabok did a great job. I like it a lot. Okay, that's a very nice variant cover for Three Jokers. And last but not least is Dark Knights of Steel, issue number two. Okay, on to the next one. The next one features a movie, uh, pardon me, a movie picture cover. Okay, so like I mentioned, we have still photography from the Batman film with Pattinson and, and Zoe Kravitz there. Uh, this is Batman Killing Time issue number one. Very nice. solid cover up next we have a number one this is world of krypton issue number one this gorgeous cover by nico suyan this was a six a six part in for me a six part limited series a little fun guy there yeah solid cover again we have another batgirl variant cover this is batgirl 49 that limited trade dress. That's a fun cover. Some of Batgirl's variants, I gotta admit, were some of the most beautifully and well done uh, variant covers that were done during that run. Up next, we have a very glossy cover. This is issue number one of Dark Knight's Death Metal, Speed Metal. The Batman who laughs up here a lot of the runners of the speed force happy to have it it's a nice josh williamson story okay on to the next one well the next one is uh well dc's probably dc's two most famous characters batman and superman okay so like i mentioned batman superman this is batman superman Issue number nine. Down here it says, Who killed the atomic skull? The Josh Williamson story. Okay. I'm seeing a trend when it comes to Williamson. Ah, uh, this is issue 754. The Flash. Now that looks really good in that color green, doesn't it? Very good. Nothing can stop Paradox. Up next, we have issue number three of Batman Secret Files. So this has Deathstroke and the Dark Knight on the cover. It says that the deadly assassins in the world hunt down the Dark Knight. Very cool. And I think 
be the candidate for my favorite cover so far. And uh, it belongs to Justice League Odyssey issue 21. Featuring Dark Side is. Very nice. Let's set this one aside here as a candidate for, for favorite cover so far. At this point, Comic Army, I'm going to ask you to please make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Get a comment ready. What do you think of me taking on an entire case of DC packs from Walmart? And more importantly, which one was your favorite cover so far? Let's carry on. Well, we have a movie tie-in. Let's get into this. So far, it's been pretty good. We only have had one double in the entire case. That is impressive, I gotta admit. It wasn't a bad double to get. Nice glossy Joker issue number three. But here we have Wonder Woman 84 issue number one. This very bright and vibrant cover. Looks great. Wonder Woman in front of the US Congress. Very nice. And uh, it, it does have an ad for Wonder Woman 84 in the back. Rest in peace, DCEU. Okay, so we have another Batgirl variant. This is issue 46. Very nice. This is done by In Hyuk Lee. Ah, now this is gorgeous. I like it a lot. Batman, Premier Batman, Batgirl issue 46. And we're going to put this one up front here. It's a, it's a candidate as well for favorite cover so far. As is this one. Here we have uh, a variant cover for Lois Lane, issue number 11. This is gorgeous. I like it. We're going to put that one right there. And it wouldn't be a DC case without Harley Quinn. This is issue 43 of Harley Quinn. And it says, Harley Quinn betrayed. Very cool. Okay, on to the next one. Well, the next one features the entire Justice League. This is Justice League issue 46. One of the better Justice League covers, I gotta admit, that I've ever seen. Very, very well done. Okay, time for another variant. This is a B cover variant for Nightwing, issue 71. Again, this is gorgeous. Very well done. DC does have some of the best variant covers out there, I gotta admit. And this one we're gonna put right up here, as I feel it's a candidate for best cover so far. Okay. So we have a reprint. Or a facsimile. But this is issue 17 of DC Superstars Presents, an all new collection of secret origins of superheroes. I'm only gonna say that once, but it's the first appearance of Huntress. Very nice. This is a little bit of a thicker book, as you can see. All right. Let's see if it's a true facsimile. It sure is. It's got those old ads from, from the 70s. All right. And the last book in this particular pack is issue 755 of Josh Williamson's The Flash. Not a bad pack. Okay, on to the next one. And the next one may tug on some heartstrings. It's issue number one of Batman. The adventures continue. Now this particular cover I know is actually a variant. It's a Walmart variant because the trade dress for the normal book is a different cover. Now, Walmart does have a few variants when it comes to DC packs, 
Not as many as Marvel, but there are a few DC packs that do have special Walmart variants, and this is one of them. So yeah, issue number one of uh, Batman the Adventures Continue. It's all the, you know, the who's who of the rogues gallery down there in that building. I like it. Nice book to have. This is issue number three from DC's Wonder Comics Amethyst. Now that is a very bright and vibrant cover if I've ever seen one. Very nice. Okay. Another Wonder Comics offering. This is Young Justice, issue 55, from Brian Michael Bendis, saying, Superboy's Truth Revealed. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. And uh, Scoob is on the back. Well, here's one headed for the PC, as I am a big Wonder Woman fan. This is issue 757 of Wonder Woman. That's a pretty cool cover. Like Donna Troy's in a whole lot of trouble. Okay. Let's see how many we have left. Uh, oh, there's still about seven. Up next is another Walmart variant for Superman Son of Kal-El. Okay, like I mentioned, this is a Walmart variant. Here you can see the trade dress is in red. I believe the normal trade dress is kind of a, an aqua, like blue, bluish green. I'll show it right here in front of my face. Yeah. Happy to have this. Uh, the famous cover where, where he's screaming, get off my world. Up next we have a Fortnite book, and it is polybagged. This is Batman Fortnite Zero Point, issue number five, the variant cover. That's a fun cover. I gotta admit, I don't know much about Fortnite. And we have another double. Uh, the second double to show up is Future State Suicide Squad, Issue number two. It's a cool cover. Peacemaker with the Suicide Squad shining in his helmet. Okay, so that marks two doubles that we've had so far. Not bad. Not bad. And we have truly a children's book here. This is issue number two of 12. The Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries. <clears throat> Pardon me. Featuring everyone running away from the Joker kind of like the ghost of a joker, maybe a hologram. Okay, here we have another pack and another number one. And this one's pretty cool as it's a Bat Family book. Like I mentioned, it's a Bat Family book, simply titled, I Am Batman. Well, this is I Am Batman issue number one. A very nice cover. Very nice. We have another Batgirl. However, this is just a normal cover A. This is Batgirl from the Joker War, issue number 49. It says the many deaths of Batgirl. Okay, here we have a 100 page giant. So this is a square bound book and it says DC 100 page, our fighting forces giant issue. Number one, our fighting forces. I like it in the desert, under the sea, over the mountains, across the sky in partnership with the national medal of honor museum. I'm impressed. Eight action-packed adventures. The Unknown Soldier returns. I'm going to give this one a read. And the last book is the third duplicate. Dark Knights of Steel, issue number two. 
I do know for a fact that the Walmart packs of DC books do have a lot of this particular issue stuffed in them. So I was kind of expecting this one to be the number one duplicate, so we'll see how it goes. Right now we're at three duplicates. Suicide Squad, Joker, and Dark Knights of Steel. And we have one, two, three, four, five to go. And the next one is the Man of Steel. Like I just mentioned, it's the Man of Steel, better known as Superman. This is issue number one of six, Superman 78. This very well done series is a comic book based off the Christopher Reeves Superman movies and uh, with those characters and giving them a new tale. I'm impressed. Next, we have issue number two, the next Batman from Future State. That's a pretty cool cover. There's a lot of creators listed on this label here. Okay. Up next, we have a very nice minimal trade variant for Superman 28. I like it a lot. In fact, I'm going to put it here with some of my favorite covers. And look, what, did I, what, what literally did I just say a moment ago? <laughs> it's Dark Knights of Steel, issue number two. Okay, so that's four duplicates, <laughs> two of which belong to the same title. Up next, we have another bat title. And the bat title, of course, I'm talking about is issue 13 of Batman and the Outsiders. And look, he's taking on Ra's al Ghul. I really like Ra's al Ghul. This says the demon's last dance. Very nice. Cool cover. Up next, we have issue number six, the Legion of Superheroes. Meet the new recruits. Dr. Fate, Superboy, Gold Lantern, Monster Boy, on the mind of Brian Michael Bendis. Very cool. And another candidate for, for best cover. Uh, belongs to the variant minimal trade dress of Hawkman 24. I've seen this cover before. Very nice. This one I'm going to set right up here as well. I like that. And uh, wow, another gorgeous cover from Tyler Kirkham. Minimal trade dress variant for Aquaman, issue number 60. Very nice. Three to go. And uh, well, the next one I'll have to say is Michael Keaton. Now you know, if DC does a movie style story for Superman 78, that they're gonna do the same thing for Batman 89. Very nice, this is a gorgeous cover. I like it a lot. Yeah, you know, the closer you can, there is a really good likeness right there, Michael Keaton. Okay, from the Future State line, this is issue number three of Superman vs. Imperious Lex. There's a lot going on right here. Old man Superman with white hair feeding this robot with a right, with a right jab and the left hand's about to come crushing in. Okay. It's Batman. This is Batman issue 95 from the James Tynan run. The Joker War, oh, pardon me, part one. Very nice. I like it. 
and a book that may end up with a duplicate because I know that they stuffed this particular issue in a lot of these DC Walmart packs as well. But this is issue number two a Task Force Z. Bane, Bane, go away. Okay. Two more. Another bat title. Well, I can tell right off the bat there is a very large square bound book in here, but the one up front is another Walmart variant. This is issue number one of Batman Fear State Omega. If you can remember, one of the earlier books I opened was actually Fear State Omega, but actually had a white trade dress across the top here. And as you can see, this one is blue representing the Walmart variant. I'm not going to consider this a double, just because it's actually a Walmart variant. Okay, the square bound book, which actually has a little bit of size to it, is issue number three, Batman Urban Legends. This is a very high gloss book. On the front here it says, Four Glorious Gotham Sagas featuring Red Hood, Grifter, The Outsiders, and Lady Shiva. And this is a John Romita Jr. cover. And uh, this is the back. This book. Oh, wow. Wow. One of the hottest DC books on the secondary market right now is this one. Kind of needs no introduction. Supergirl World, Woman of Tomorrow. This was a terrific, terrific story. In fact, I would, for myself, it's probably the best Tom King story that I've ever read. It's an eight issue limited series. I know that it has done a lot of uh, sales on eBay since James Gunn announced that Supergirl, the movie, may be based off of this particular story. But yeah, this nice high gloss book. Happy to have it again in the PC. And the last book, wow, this is gorgeous, is. Uh, another variant it's a minimal trade dress variant for batman 2021's annual very nice you see ghost maker on the front there back when tynan was pushing his creation and uh, we haven't really seen much or heard much from ghost maker since but that is a very nice cover and uh, I think I'm gonna put this one up here. And the very last pack is right here. And it too has a large square bound inside of it. All right. Well, it's a very nice Joel Jones offering of issue number three of Wonder Girl. Really enjoyed this character. All right, it says ensnared by Eros and who might you be? Very nice cover. And we have another double. And it belongs to Future State Suicide Squad, issue number two. That is the third copy that we've received so far. And we have another double. It is Task Force C, <laughs> issue number two. And we only had this just a couple packs ago. And the square bound. Wow. The square bound. Is a J. Scott Campbell exclusive. This is a J. Scott Campbell exclusive for Catwoman. Very nice. The 80th anniversary edition. Wow. 100 page. Super spectacular. Very nice cover. Very well done by J. Scott Campbell. Again, here's the back. Okay. Well, Comic Army, let's just do a quick recap. When it comes to the doubles of this case, we had we had one double of the Joker, issue number three. We had a double for Task Force C. We had two extra copies of Suicide Squad. 
two extra copies of Dark Knights of Steel. Very nice. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite covers. So, I do really like the Batman Annual cover and also the Hawkman cover. But those aren't my favorite. My absolute favorite. I also like this in Hyuk Lee variant of Batgirl. And this cool take on Superman as well. Looks pretty young in that one. This Nightwing 71 is just wicked. But again, it's not my favorite. I do think DC's onto something with this style of cover. It is very, very smart. Very, very nice. But my favorite cover of all has to belong to Dark Side Is. This is Justice League Odyssey issue 21. This is probably my favorite cover. I just feel it has a movie poster quality. Like, just imagine this and this with just the Justice League banner. You know, the new Justice League movie coming out with this here. This is something you would see hanging in a movie theater with coming soon written across the bottom. That's it. That's an entire case of DC retailer packs from Walmart. At this point, I'm going to remind you, Comic Army, please hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Please leave a comment. And if you're interested in becoming a channel member, there are now two tiers for you to select from to become a member of the Comic Vet YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We see you again. Take care.